Salam ladies and gentlemen, this is Sumi. I welcome you all to the yet another episode of What's Going On by Sumi, powered by Deplex. We have hair trends and makeup for you, line them in the first section, so let's go and see. Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, hopefully you guys like the new trends by Deflex and now it's time for me to introduce you to my guest today, a guy who's been into this industry for when it comes to event management for some time now, I won't give up it's been over a decade now, the very handsome Infazal lover. Welcome to the show. How are you doing? Thank you very much for a great introduction. How are you doing? Like, I'm doing great. It's good to have you. And I really am curious about the event management situation here in Pakistan, especially mm. after the pandemic. I think the whole game has changed for you mm. people. Mm. Um, tell me something about that. Um, so it, during the pandemic, I think all over the world, one of the industries that was severely at the forefront of being affected was any kind of live entertainment. So that meant um, any artists who were performing on stage mm. and the people who were putting up those things, they were sev they were first hand affected because mm. everything was closed for three years. Yeah. So up thoda better is that now that we're kind of going back into things opening up again, so things are now coming back, uh, right. which is great. It's suddenly summer. Summer slows down a little bit in Pakistan huh. because of the heat, but um, things are picking up. Uh, PR is coming back. The way of doing things is a little different because during the pandemic, which, uh, as is every few years, there's these new entrants into the market. Mushroom companies, I call of them. Of course. They come for the season, get a few years in, and then they realize Fizzle it's out. really tough. It's really tough to be an event manager. You have to really stick, stick it out. Yeah. So, So, now in the pandemic era, I mean, we're seeing them and we're mm -hmm. seeing what they're doing. So it's, yeah. I mean, it's, it's, it's a changed industry, but for the better, I would say. Yeah. So Imti, with the, the current times, social media is so dominant over any other platform that we have. Um, how does it help and kind of like uh, does not work in the favor of uh, event management? So uh, when we started out about 15 years ago, 2007, mm -hmm. uh, there was no social media yeah. back then. Yeah. Uh, so reliant mediums were television, print, uh, radio. Somewhat. Somewhat. Mm -hmm. uh, so we were a little late to the social media party. In fact, uh, we started our Instagram a little late, uh, I remember. But when we did, then, you know, then suddenly you just have to kind of get with the times. Mm -hmm. So, and the, one of the things that I've learned is that in order to st still stay relevant, you need to keep absorbing what's happening around you and keep current with the times. Because yeah. if you're not, there are going to be new companies going to trump you. Absolutely. So one of the things that we strongly stuck by and learned, and then another thing I learned about social media, that the things that are viral, they don't die quickly. So sometimes it creates a lot of hysteria. The whole ke viral, something negative about you creates a lot of hysteria. But I promise you, let it pass for a day, mm -hmm. it will all go away. So, all go. But this you have to learn with experience. Right. Because the impulse is to react and respond, Absolutely. and that makes things worse. Yeah. So, uh, um, so it's best to kind of let it play out and see how things play out. Right, yeah. right. So when it comes to event management and PR, um, I believe, in my uh, humble opinion, in Pakistan, the definition of PR is not really, you know, um, known by a lot of people. Mm -hmm. PR is 
क्या आप मेजर पब्लिकेशन को तस्वीरें दे दें कुछ दे दें वो आपकी पी आर होगी बट वट एग्जैक्टली इज पी आर इन योर ओपिनियन इस सच स्मॉल थिंग कि जी तस्वीरें इधर लगा दी आपने इस सोशल मीडिया में तस्वीरें लगवा दी इधर इंटरव्यू करा दिया इट्स सो स्मॉल एंड आई फील लाइक अलॉर कंपनीज इन पाकिस्तान आर डूइंग मक्खी के ऊपर मक्खी मार रहे होते हैं फ्राम वन क्लाइंट टू अनदर क्लाइंट यू कैन नॉट हैव द सेम पी आर प्लान फॉर एवरी क्लाइंट इट हैज टू बी goal and objective focused it has to be need focused Tailored what is the target according audience to the profile. and one of the things that i teach my students is that one of the first question you should ask a client and which very few people do what are your goals and objectives and then devise your plan accordingly mm. yeah jab unless you know the goals and objectives and what is the is your client trying to do you are not going to be able to devise the optimal kind of plan for them so a pr plan in simple words is something that basically Uh, requires uh, it entails getting mileage for a client mm-hmm. not by not spe- uh, spending money for every single mileage that you get them okay so you it is based on the network and aapke jo taluqat hote hain in various mediums mm-hmm. with which you've mm-hmm. built over the years right mm-hmm. um a pr company is as good as its network so um so basically it is getting mileage in in a way which is not direct advertisement there's a right. huge difference between advertisement and public relations it is not direct advertisement it's organic uh, exposure for a right, client right, and that's right. what pr is and it's like giving a personality to a brand to a product to a person it, it could be or anything. it could also be damage control so and there are times control. that uh, some issue happens and uh, a, a, a pr company advises a client how, what's the best way to go forward so um it's a very important role that a pr company has and not just ke ji charge celebrity la ke khade karke tasveer khinchwa ke apni tasveer lagwa de that is i feel like the uh, easiest and the most simplest approach to anything and that doesn't work for everything and now as we are seeing with the onset of this whole concept of influencers and bloggers and all of content creators in pakistan mm-hmm. um the idea that celebrities matter that much which are just not engaging with your brand hmm. is less and less important right, so i right. feel like it is more important now as we are seeing uh, to ha- it's the age of digital content if your content is not engaging it is not uh, capturing the attention of the end consumer you're doing something wrong i see you bringing different djs um for this very reason um the raves and yes. all um how did you get into this okay, let's just bring in some new people Uh no so it just uh, uh, it started from a very specific reason which was my love for music mm-hmm. I've been into uh house and electronic music from a very young age from school time it used to be so you keep changing directions you keep changing paths as you kind of And there's nothing older. wrong with that no, 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 you're I mean, experimenting in the sense that my music journey started from a very different place to now where it is it's mm. very different mm. but it was a journey that kind of led to where i am now so it, it was the love of music that kind of led to bringing artists of that genre to pakistan it was never ki main kuch kar leta hu it was always based on my passion for this particular art which right. is music right. and the uh, performance of it hmm. so it was never कि भाई चलो जी कुछ नया करके दिखा मतलब श्योर देर वॉज दैट देर वॉज ऑलवेज दैट बट इट वॉज मोर टू डू विद द फैक्ट दैट दिस इज वट आई एन्जॉय एंड and i think you only do the kind of work that you yes, enjoy doing absolutely, yeah, you're absolutely. like me that way i For don't sure. care about the moolah and all of that i'm no. like am i enjoying it if not I mean, then why it still hasn't made any money and it's not about the money it's really not about the money it's about a, a, what we've created over mm-hmm. the years right mm-hmm. and the international recognition that like the platform pakistan and i have received because of this when i travel mm. and people know that um in the electronic music scene of the genre that we played at wired when i'm roaming around in those circles outside pakistan people know that pakistan is now on the map for the, those kind of oh, artists really? wow. and it's really uh, i was in uh, brazil in 2020 uh right before the pandemic and um, i was at some of these big festivals right and i um at the first time i went to brazil in 2016 i had i went to one of these and i promised myself that i will find out who the person behind this is and i will get to know him mm. fast forward 4 mm-hmm. years later went to his festival again this person's festival who had done like this amazing job uh met him 
not only did he know who I am, he was like, oh my God, I love your parties. For wow. someone like that to say four years ago, who was my idol, for him to recognize what I'm doing in a, a small part of the world in Pakistan was a big high. That, yeah. was, a, that was a personal high for me. So it was, wow. and it was, I really, uh, and when I'm traveling to places like where Pakistan is so unique, like a country like Brazil, I play up the whole Pakistan quotient. Baki jago pe jahan pe aap taxi driver or 7-Eleven ke consider hoote, wahan pe aapko play down ke na pata hai. But places like this, you, where you're like so unique, because yeah. where is this country? Uh. You're like, haha, I'm from this country. So uh. you're like, oh, achha. So you know, it's a, it's a big deal to be. And like, you feel more patriotic you, some, for some reason. At that reason, point, yes. Yeah, yeah. When at, you're out of Pakistan, Oh, aapka andar ka yes. Pakistani bahut zor se bahir aata hai. It's always Absolutely. like that. So, moving on, um, there's another thing Imtisal does. He's very much into art. He's a curator for that too. And you help a lot of new artists, I would say, in comparison to the old ones and the established ones. And that's what I meant. But how did you get into this? Another thing that I was passionate about, art. Um, uh, something that I, I, I've been collecting art since 10, 11, year, 11 years now. Um, 10, 11, achha, I thought you said when I was 10 or 11, oh, I was no, like, no. what? <laughs> 10, 11 years I've been collecting art, but uh, I have, um, I, so it kind of started with just a, uh, you know, idea that let's have a platform on mm -hmm. Facebook mm -hmm. or a, a place where you could every day or every week share, people could share art mm -hmm. that they own or people that they create, right? So that's where the idea of Pakistan Art Forum was born in 2014. Mm -hmm. And uh, so the idea of Pakistan Art Forum is born just for the sake of the love of art. Mm -hmm. And uh, and then s soon after that, I started collecting art from my friends who, because I would be going to thesis shows in various other places, Absolutely, so I would just kind yes, of take yeah. pictures mm -hmm. and collect art. And then from one thing led to the other, it led to sh me curating shows then me opening my website last year at Sheru's place and then this year we've launched our art gallery as well. So it's been a great journey as well, similar to music. Similar yeah. to music, so doing all the things that he likes and loves. Now, art, if we talk about art, this is a medium where it goes on and just like any other hmm. one. Um, you have artists who are, you know, plagiarizing other stuff. How do you control this? I cannot. Um, I need to be informed in the sense that, uh, to the best of my knowledge, uh, not promote uh, an artist who, uh, you know, has taken, uh, who has plagiarized somebody else's work. But all over the art world, it's not so much direct plagiarism as inspiration. No art is really, really original anywhere, to be honest. It's always inspired by this or that. Uh, Sometimes there's more direct ins inspiration, other times it's less direct inspiration. Uh, but if you are sure that this art is completely picked up and copied from Each somewhere, and then you... Each and everything, yeah, aspect yes, of it, yes. Aspect of it, then you have to, then it's your responsibility not to promote that further. Of course. Uh, but um, as an artist, I cannot, as a curator, I cannot... Um, if it's not at my on my platform, then I don't have any control over it. People then course, do whatever they of do. Of course, of course. Yeah. But you make sure that you do not promote or help yes. in any sort of way. Be associated no, with that. Uh, that's uh, irresponsible. That's unethical. Yeah, yeah, that's unethical. Moving on, Imti, I have something fun for you. So let's see how you're going to do in your okay. rapid fire. <laughs> Who do you text the most? Emma. Acha. What is your favorite word in another language? Gastosa. <laughs> Portuguese, it means delicious. Please, thank you, you just clear, <laughs> cleared it out to what is it? <laughs> summer or winter? Um, summer. If you were to write a book, what book would it be? As in what it about be about? Art. Art, okay. Yeah. Uh, would you rather travel to the past or to the future? Uh, future. Outdoor event or indoor event? Indoor. Do you believe in second chances? Yes, definitely. Have you given anyone second chances? Many. Many? Many. Name Acha. I should stop giving chances. I think that's <laughs> the best thing one can ever do for themselves. Yes. Yeah, for their peace of mind. Learn that it's not going to change. Yeah. What item is worth spending more money on? Comfort. Okay. If you could undergo a procedure to erase memories, would you? No. 
because they teach you something. Everything One way or the other. Yeah, absolutely. You'd rather learn from it. Oh, for sure. I mean, uh, things that are bad memories have also taught you something, so absolutely not. How do you deal with a toxic situation? 2020, <laughs> uh, one thing that I became really certain about uh -huh. was, and I made a conscious <coughs> effort, was to cut out as much toxicity in my life as possible and to stay away from people who don't build me up. Right. Think people who are <laughs> negative, people who are toxic, gossipy, I avoid them like a plague. And this has become, and that's, that has also meant, um, you know, By so, gossipy go means people who just manipulate. Pot stirrers. Yeah, yeah. There's one word there who I, I say and people who st are constantly stirring uh, the pot and, you know, are craving drama, yeah, I stay yeah, away yeah. from them. Cut them off. It's something that, and that has also meant letting go of some friends, and that's fine. That's, that's fine. fine. It's I mean, okay. I've outgrown them, I feel. So, from uh, letting go of friends, I'm going to ask you one more thing. Um, would you prefer having people who are backstabbing mm -hmm. or were brutally upfront? Brutally upfront, yes, definitely. Why do you appreciate that? Um, because backstabbing people hurt you more, especially right. friends. Right. Uh, brutally honest people at least will tell you as is on the face and I've had this conversation with some really close friends as well, mm -hmm. some of my best friends that, mm -hmm. I, you know, say it to me on my face, mm. don't let me find out otherwise because it just always comes around. It, it does. comes around it does. and you One find out always. Other. Yeah. So, All right, you did pretty good, MT. Thank you. Hold on, a bell bajare har cheez hai. Extra bhi puchu, usme bhi bell bajare. Aur bata. Bring it on. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on, I have a fun round for, uh, for you. It's related to music. No, it's related to shows, TV shows. So I'm gonna Gaane na dilo ana bas. Nay. As long as you don't make me sing. <laughs> So even though we know that Imti is very fond of music and he's got great knowledge in music, but he's also got great knowledge in TV shows and, you know, he watches a lot of stuff. But we're going to go back in time and there are a lot of famous shows that you watch. So I'm sure it's the audio sunke, probably, I'm not sure. Visually, you can tell me visually. So I'm going to test you with the audio if you can remember it or not. Let me just turn up the volume. This is the first one. talk show and it's a very famous show. Hai. Okay, let's talk about what era I was born in so that we... You were born in this I... era. She came out of the closet during her career. Who is she? She is a talk show host and she hosts a great talk show. Oprah? Oh, Ellen. Ellen. But this is not Ellen. It this is. sound. Achha, I've never, I've never heard the beginning part of her. Achha, usually uh, people do remember uh, when right. you watch. The, because when uh, yeah. you see YouTube, huh. uh, you just see the interview part of it, not the beginning of it. Sorry. But okay, Ellen DeGeneres, yes. Ellen DeGeneres, it is. Now we have another one. Lion King. Okay. <laughs> I love this. Takes me to Africa, where I've never been in my life. <laughs> Looney Tunes. Yes, but you know, yeah. this is evergreen. <laughs> uh, you know, I, so I've never seen Friends. I was gonna say that maybe you might play Friends for me. Mujhe pata to hoga, but I've never seen Friends. But you did well. You did really well. You're pretty good. Thank we you. We took you back to this your childhood. Fun. This was fun. Yes. <laughs> And uh, but it was very nice of you to come in, take out time for Thank us, you share for you know me. all your valued information regarding event management and PR, which is really very important because there is a lot of confusion when it comes to PR. I am very scared when people say that this is PR, I am saying that this PR is not. Please, I am so sorry. You are going to for next time. But any message for the youth right now watching you? Um, be resilient. I mean, I feel like uh, two things I. Uh, I very firmly believe in and I followed is first find something that you're passionate about uh, and once you've found something that you're passionate about keep at it mm. keep at it you will never excel at something that you're not passionate about absolutely so until you find that one thing that you're crazy in love with you will never excel so find that first mm. and then keep at it you will succeed
Inshallah, for sure. Yeah. Thank you so very much. Thank you very much. And for thank you, me. everyone, for joining me yet another time <clears throat> here on What's Going On by Sumi Powered by Depelex. Catch you guys next week. This is Sumi saying, Before I lose my voice, bye.